Can everyone hear me okay? I'm going to try and fight through this cold and make sure I can project enough. <laughs> My name is Kate Davis. I work for Tableau. I am an analytics program manager. And I want to explain to you how we've used Tableau Catalog way before it was even released to reveal certain things at our own company. I hope everyone's been enjoying conference so far. And especially, I hope you guys have been able to see the keynote speech the other day where Graham talked about Tableau Catalog, because this is going to be a lot of really funny dog analogies, hopefully. <laughs> so a little bit about myself. I have a pretty diverse background, and I understand most of us do as well. But I want to show you the universally applicable ways that we can use Tableau Catalog to any industry, no matter what your background, skill level, et cetera. So I work at Tableau, but my degree is in aerospace engineering. I've worked with FAA regulations, acronyms beyond all belief, AIAA, SWE, uh, KISS, I can't even start to explain. <laughs> I've also worked in actuarial science with one of the leading industry insurance companies. They only have about 20 plus subsidiaries. They work in 50 states, about 30 different products, and 20 countries internationally. So you can imagine what that kind of data management turns into. Then I moved on to traditional business intelligence, working in advertising, which is fun and fast paced. Little time for documentation, mostly just trying to get what the customer needs. Uh, it was in the food trend space, but it's under, like most companies, under an umbrella that includes 20 plus other properties. So making sure you know what data warehouse to go to, how to keep all the data management separate, when you have more acquisitions and additional acquisitions, building upon that becomes a bit troublesome. And then right before Tableau, I worked with one of the industry leading travel websites, but not just one, <laughs> a lot. And same thing with the previous job, web analytics gets defined differently at each company. Sometimes it's defined by the software you use, like Adobe Analytics. Some people only know Google Analytics, and other people just have Confluence pages that explain what's a visitor, what's an impression, what constitutes the sales funnel. It, it can just vary between every single property. So luckily, I finally have gotten to work on the product that has solved a lot of my pain points in the past with my analyst background. I work now at Tableau, like I said, on the enterprise analytics team, but specifically the analyst experience team, which is basically our, our mission every single day is to wake up and manage the data platform that is centralized, trusted, and available for all of our internal reporting analysts to get at the data and successfully like report. I don't know if you've heard yet, maybe if you've been to TC before, but our internal server is lovingly called Alpo because we love to dog food our own products. Uh, so, Continuing with Alpo references, actually one of my first projects at Tableau is something that pretty much any new hire at any company can relate to, I bet. I basically went around, and this is about like two years ago, I went around to each team, marketing, dev, sales, uh, subsets of each of those teams as well, and basically networked and asked hey, who's recording your data? Where are you recording it? Is it in a warehouse? Is it done by the software you're using? Or when was the last time you even did it? And in some cases, it's like, oh, you wanted me to actually be doing that already? <laughs> so it showed me all of the, I'll say, opportunities for where I wanted to streamline our data management. And <laughs> My first stupid dog analogy. So for those of you that aren't familiar with data management, 
let's say we're on a rescue dog ranch. <laughs> There's like three beagles. We don't know where one came from. One's inside the house. The other one's apparently gluten intolerant and there's a poodle, but we think it's the neighbors. And then there's a bunch of animals that I don't think those are even dogs. Some of them are trying to be dogs. And we want to take inventory of all of this. Now, the first step in data management, Tableau Catalog is not going to do it for you in terms of defining everything, but it will herd the data. <laughs> it won't set up the definitions but it will show you what's duplicated. It'll show you what is outdated. It'll show you the freshest set of data. It'll show you who is looking at the data. And then you can move on from there and handle who's gonna define each and every data source, content, even down to the field level. So moving on to my second example of Tableau Catalog and how it's helped us. I'm gonna talk about migration woes. <laughs> so migration woes I'm using very loosely. It can mean moving just maybe from, maybe we're moving from SQL Server to the cloud. A lot of companies wanna be cloud-based these days, my team included. We're going through moving from Tableau Server on SQL Server up to Snowflake. Easily in Tableau Catalog, you can see, hey, who has moved their content? And we have we have a list of data stewards that we rely on to show who has actually connected their content from Tableau Server up to Snowflake. In the, pre <laughs> in the past, and for a lot of companies out there, you basically have to spam an alias of hundreds, if not thousands of people and ask, hey, take the survey, have you moved your content yet? Now, one person or anyone at the company, not even necessarily a data steward or an analyst, can look on Tableau Catalog and see who's actually moved their content. So that's a simple example. <laughs> Let's move on <laughs> to one that's a little bit more complicated. So you may have heard a little bit of news about Tableau's recent acquisition by a company. Um, and this happens a lot where you're not just moving from a certain data warehouse or changing one field within an API connection. You are actually physically not reporting on apples anymore, but now on oranges. So your data model schema is changing. Your API might not even exist anymore. You have a bunch of different reporting changes that you need to reveal the impacts of as fast as possible. So. I'm sure all of you are familiar with the trade-off that happens between time, <clears throat> time and accuracy. So personally, I have loved Tableau Catalog because we've had to move very, very fast, especially towards the end of the year with TC, but that's seasonal and expected. But Tableau Catalog has helped me personally be able to see, all right, what is our keep the lights on reporting with all of these API changes I need to make? What is my prioritization level one, two, three, et cetera? Sometimes you don't have enough time to plan it all out. Other times you have to just really narrow it down. And it's also let me see exactly which users were gonna be affected. So I didn't have to spam like alias in the previous example. And lastly, this might be the more, I would say, obvious out of the box uh, uh, sorry. This would be the more obvious out of the box example of how Tableau catalog can help you. I'm sure you've all heard how Tableau thinks and wants and believes that everyone can be an analyst. And that's still our mission. Well, Tableau lets every analyst or executive, employee, et cetera, find and discover the data they need. In the past, well, in the past, uh, maybe you've heard of Alpo Doctor. That's basically our internal Tableau Doctor that you see here at TC. And that only happens once a week because 
it's it's too unmanageable to always have IT available for Tableau. And with Tableau Catalog, we've now been able to let people self-service even more. They don't have to make an appointment. They don't have to wait a week. They don't have to go through Slack circles to infinity. <laughs> we can just send them simply a link now that shows, oh, hey, yeah, you're going to change that? OK, you're going to affect 361 owners, 8,000 different sheets on our published content, and only 10 flows. In the past, you would have needed a DBA or data engineering or data platform uh, analyst and possibly someone with XML experience to try and go down through that lineage and figure out exactly what the impact would be. But now with just the click of exploring within your published content, you can see exactly who's affected. So I know that was really fast, but I hope you guys are all enjoying the conference. And please don't forget to go into the evaluation within the app and leave me any comments. Um, again, my name is Kate Davis. I'm really happy to talk with you after if you have any questions. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the conference.